Hello and welcome to another tips and tricks videos from Davo Ship Modeler. My name is John as you know. This video is about rigging a dead eye on our actual model. The model is the Mary Jean from Artesina Latina and uh, it's uh, made because of the request from some viewers uh, because they want to see more details. So I made already a video tips and tricks about rigging a model ship but this is going uh, to be more in detail and also on an actual model okay so the quality of the video is not that good but uh, it gives you an impression uh, what it takes to rig a dead eye on a model ship so i hope you enjoy it so because of the request of now so many viewers of mine that they suggest uh, it's a pity that I, they can't see the uh, details I'm uh, doing on this model and maybe also on the other models. Uh, I will attempt, I really don't know if it works, uh, to film this part how I rig the dead eyes if it does not work or if you can't see it I'm really sorry for this because I don't have the equipment for this uh, I'm working with a very ordinary camcorder in front of me and you know it's a little bit bulky and uh, this is a tedious work and uh, I don't know if it works whatsoever uh, if you still cannot see how I'm doing it, uh, I made the uh, a, a video on my tips and tricks list. Uh, there is a video about basic rigging a model ship, so there you can see this much better than maybe in this video. Whatsoever, I will try it. Uh, if it works, then it's good. If not, I'm really sorry for this. So. The first thing, uh, I have tightened up the shrouds coming from the mast down going to the dead eyes and in this case I insert uh, this little wood piece because that's required in the instruction. Don't forget to do this. Uh, something front up on this, uh, I pull all my strings uh, through beeswax and that's the purpose of this that this fuzzy uh, fuzzy little fibers are going away from this thing it does not work 100% there is a little trick but it's very really dangerous if you have a light uh, just fire it and pull it like this and I don't know if you can see the difference between this one and this one now the the fuzzy is, uh, the the fuzzy fibers are gone, and you can do this also on the other one. And now it's really clear. That's a little trick, but also a very dangerous trick. So make this very fast. Uh, I don't know if it works if you do not pull the strings uh, through beeswax. Uh, beeswax. Uh, I don't know. I never tried this, but uh, be careful with that. It's a very dangerous. It's not the first uh, time that uh, the complete string going up in flames. Whatsoever. So, uh, starting with the dead eyes. Uh, the distance between the I finished already all the, the other dead eyes. That's the last two dead eyes I have to rig. And I hope that this video works because on the other, si other, on the other side I tried it and uh, my camera as usual gave up on me uh, so I hope that the last two that I know uh, that we got a video from this whatsoever 
so I measure the distance between the lower and the upper dead eye and in this case it's two centimeters so I make a temp I made a template from plastic you can use also cardboard but cardboard maybe is not that good because it's too slim it is a little bit thicker I think 1.5 millimeter something like this it's not important the important is that you have a permanent distance between the upper and the lower something you have to measure uh, okay so I'm starting with the left side I put this one on the back and uh, I got the height now from this shroud coming down and a uh, little advice make it not zero clearance so not grab it there give him a little bit allowance so that you can tighten it up so I give a little allowance from maybe two millimeters and there I grab it fold it I hope you can see this all because uh, the display of my camera shuts off after some seconds and I can't see what I'm filming right now so I hope that works so whatsoever I have now a little loop on the end and I hope that the distance between uh, uh, the correct distance if not I can adjust this later so I'm using my black slim string this polyester string that's uh, luck, uh, luckily that's not uh, fuzzy but there are some disadvantage on this whatsoever so I also make a loop and pull it over the edge of the shroud loop and adjust this to a very small loop and tighten this up okay so now we have a little loop I hope you can see this I put some white there and uh, there I put the string the polyester string there and so now we have this little opening here in this opening I have to insert now the dead eye and one good advice for the dead eyes re-drill all the holes because uh, you really run in problems if you do not re-drill the holes even the string you have to pull through these holes are only 0.50 millimeters I open all holes to uh, I re-drill all the holes with a 0.75 millimeter drill so minimum 0.5 millimeter up to 0.75 millimeters and directly adjust the the dead eye in the right position that means that uh, it shows like a little arrow pointing up so the left side down center up and the right side brown down so that's the right position da uh, the lower dead eye opposite direction that it points down so the center hole will be down and the upper that I pointing up so now we can check again the clearance and yeah the uh, a little bit too tight so I will pull this down a little bit check check in double check and triple check because once you have your glued uh, put glue on the nuts you made it will be really difficult to adjust this if you have not done this in the right position I'm really sure that there are some of you out who knows maybe some tricks I'm really happy if you for these tricks not only to me and also to others maybe that helps that's the way I'm doing this since years and it works maybe it's a little bit slowly slow process so now I had put some CA glue on this joint and that's okay so that will not move anymore 
I put a clip here on the top and now I will wrap the excess black string on this shroud to imitate a whipping or sizing or whatever you call it I don't know what's the correct correct uh, pronunciation of word in English and that's enough secure this again with mighty band see glue and cut the excess So I don't know how much you could see from this whole process and how much I moved out of the camera frame so whatsoever I hope you can see this now. Uh, there I wrapped the polyester string on uh, around the shroud and now I have to make a second sizing a little bit more up on this. According to my camera, it's still recording. I really hope that she will do recording because sometimes I'm sick of making these little videos and then when I put it for editing on my, my laptop, the file is already gone. So there is a second one. Uh, the distance between this lower and this upper I adjust around 7 to 8 millimeters. For what I need this you will see later. So there I have to need a nut. Secure this again with really little CA glue and start wrapping this. I see on my display that it's not in the frame, so I'm really sorry so that you have to listen only to my voice. It's like a blind people, a blind, blind one looking, uh, watching a movie. <laughs> I'm really sorry for this. For security reasons, I made some pictures before on the other uh, dead, eye, I, dead eyes I rigged, and so I will display also these pictures in between. Yeah, I put again some CA glue on the end, cut off the excess. a little bit uh, you still can see the end and that's the disadvantage of this polyester string the CA glue will not really soak in this string so it's more on the surface so you have to be really sure that it's secured so check again the display uh, now you can see I will remove the clamp, put some white bits up behind this. Now you can see that there are two sizings or wrappings from the dead eye uh, with a distance of uh, 7 to 8 millimeters there in between. So, check again. Now it's already too late, but check again the, the distance between the upper and the lower. And I consider this as okay. So now we need the lanyard. I, was, I believe it's called lanyard. Uh, I also pulled this through beeswax and uh, made a knot on one end. I really don't know if you can see this clearly. Not on one end. And the other end I put some 
see a glow I will do this again so that I have something like a needle because that is something that helps you pulling this swing through the dead eyes what is a really nice job so okay starting the right lower hole from the back pulling through by the way these are four millimeter dead eyes and everybody who made this that four millimeters already considered small it's going a little bit more easier if it's five or six millimeters so the same going from the front to the, to the back in the right lower that eye my CA glue on the string is gone so it's too soft to put this through the hole but again some CA glue that makes it hard be happy that I'm not talking all the way my, I know that my voice is annoying because I can see this on the views since I uh, now going back from the back to the front on the upper hole in the upper that I back going for the front pulling this through there is now we need the template and Tighten this up, up to the right distance and because of the beeswax the string is now more hard and it stays this way so you don't just have to be afraid that it moves back and now going down to the center hole in the dead eye from the front to the back now we have only one hole left on the upper going again from the back and I can see it back to the front and it goes So come out my friend, there you are, so all the holes are full now on the upper, now on the last hole on the lower, from the front to the back. to all holes on both dead eyes so the end of this is coming out of the back side from the lower dead eye on the left side okay so take it again the distance is everything is very good so now going up on the back side and wrap this once around the shroud going under this and secure this, this string on this sizing so that the joint is on the back sides there you are putting again some what I don't have anymore <laughs> CA glue to secure this in this position and it's really difficult to open this little bottle with one hand put it on topic and then secure this and I included my fingers so this also really nice so this is been secured now wrapping this wrapping this on the previous uh, 
synthesizing so uh, it's like a second coat up to the top of this this first sizing and I always say sizing I hope that is right and but if not I hope that you know what I mean so there we are on the top so let's look that we get on the front side so since now we have two they are grappling with the tweezer this line between this pulling it between the two shots and then going there to secure it you know it's a really a tedious work if you don't have a camera in front and with the camera in front it's much more so now this is already good and secured now pulling this up and we almost done so using another black polyester thing and making a simple knot with my way too much fingers Sometimes I'm really surprised by myself how, how I'm doing this small work with my fingers big like hot dogs. So there you see there is the string and there is the second sizing and I secure this there. That's already it. Pulling this up. There it is. Secure this whole thing with... Glow. and that's it now cutting the excess make sure that your CA glue is really dried because there are different types of CA glue one drying fast and the other one slowly so make sure before you cut the excess that everything is dried and that's it check my display and it's still in the frame and I hope that you could see all the work I've done on this that I, I as I said that's the last two I will not do this one the right side and then it's finished after this I will pull down the wood there and secure this also and then all the shrouds are finished so okay